Mon, how are you? Um, it's been a crazy week for you, huh? Yeah, it sure has. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, when Michael Chandler says you're not here for a long time, you're here for a good time. I mean, you get a twister, and then three days later, you're booked to fight on a pay-per-view on a card a week after that. Like, what has the last 72 hours or so been like for you? Uh, it's been uh, it's, it's been chill, honestly. Uh, <laughs> I'm ready to get right back in there and uh, and scrap. You know, I, I got into that fight, and I had no damage, and I'm ready to go again, you know. So we found out after you got the twister that Cody was out of the fight due to an injury, and yesterday we found out it was a done deal. When did this opportunity to fight Mario first come on your radar? Were you already talking to the UFC about this after your fight on Saturday? No, I was. Uh, we were actually having a uh, dinner over there at a, at a sushi spot, and as we were having di dinner, I'm looking down at my phone, and uh, I seen that Cody is out, and I, I was like, you know, it'd be crazy. It's just me, just hop in there and fight this dude. And then I was like, yo, and I'm with my manager. I was like, yo, hit up uh, Sean to see if we can uh, take this fight. And I and we just sat there and watched video on uh, Mario Batista, and it was a done deal, you know? Yeah, he's he's quietly flying under the radar. He's put together a, a really nice resume. But obviously you want to go there and win. But do you feel like this is kind of a win-win for you? Like, if obviously if you get a win, it's massive. And if it goes the other way, and, you know, you at least show the UFC you're as game as they come, and you know how much – the brass loves that. Yeah, there's no there's no pressure in this fight whatsoever for me. Um, I'm going in there. I'm gonna have fun, but uh, obviously I'm I'm going in there for the win and uh, a dom dominant performance. How does this all play out? Like, what's the headline gonna read? Oh, um, the mom makes history. Um, TKO in the first round. And then last thing for me, obviously a big fight in the division in the main event. Aljamain Sterling defending the title against Sean O'Malley. Putting on the analyst hat, how do you see that fight going down? Who do you think leaves Boston with the title on Saturday? I believe uh, Aljo has a little trouble on the feet, but sooner or later he gets the takedown, and then he dominates and probably subs him. Yep. Damon over here um, to your right. This is a, not a catchweight or anything either. This is a bantamweight fight, right? Yeah, bantamweight fight. So I guess was there any thought in your mind about that, like to, to do a catchweight, or is it pretty easy for you to get down to 135 twice and, you know, I think days. it's pretty. It's pretty easy. It's not a. Uh, I'm used to. It. It's a difficult cut, but I'm. I'm used to it. You know. Um, as long as I'm disciplined, then everything goes smoothly. Outside of like the old school tournament era of the UFC, this is the quickest turnaround that anybody's ever had. A few. I think one other person has done the seven day turnaround, but if you win, that's the quickest that there's been two consecutive wins outside of a tournament. So I guess what would that mean for you to to have that UFC record in the modern era? Oh, it it'll it'll be incredible, um, making history every day. You know? What are the chances we see another twister attempt? Uh, it might be there. <laughs> if the opportunity presents itself, I'll definitely get a twister. You know. Thanks, man. Thank you. Hey, tomorrow, right over here. To, to your left. To your left. Um, yeah, we didn't expect to see you this week. Um, when you decided to step up, was it because Mario was the opponent, or was it you would step up no matter who it was? Oh, it's because um, my opponent as well, and then. Um, just the opportunity, because uh, obviously I, it's, it's within a, a week's notice. I'm not going to take a fight that I don't believe I can win, you know. So um, I believe I can dominate this guy. In your post-fight in the Octagon interview last week, you said that you saw something specifically that you knew you were going to get the twister. Is there something in Mario that you're seeing that you, that's going to set you up for something else, or do you even not even have time to really dig deep into film study with him? Uh, no, nah, I don't got no time. I'm just going to go in there and I'm going to scrap and have some fun. And my last question, I know you just said that the weight cut is tough, but you can make it. Like, how much weight did you put on from last Friday till you know, when you had to start cutting the weight again? Uh, I put, I got up to probably like uh, 55, and then um, my weight kind of just simmered back down. You know? is, that, is that normal? That's normal. It's pretty normal. Good luck to you. Come on over here. So what do you have to do in terms of mental preparation two weeks in a row? Is this like a continuation of last weekend or a whole new fight? This is a continuation of, um, of like, uh, just my, my life's journey, you know? Um, just being able to step in there and having different opponents. I've always fought different guys. It doesn't matter um, their size, skill, or what uh, techniques they have. And, like, he's very similar to guys I've fought before. I think he's a very similar matchup to Luan Lacerda. And this is your fourth fight in 2023, your second in two weeks. Why is that important to you to stay so busy? Uh, I just, I like to fight. So 
that I, and, and then last one for me. You start out in UFC 0-1-1. and Now you're on a big two-fight win streak, looking to make it three. Did anything change specifically to uh, change your success? Um, me switching down and going down to uh, Miami, and I've just been I've been grinding and working hard, staying disciplined. Damon, over here to your left. Um, given the whirlwind that this week has been for you, how are you able to stay so cool, calm, and collected? Uh, just stay focused, focus on the um, on the prize, and that's uh, me going in there and dominating and winning. And with the championship this weekend, and also a big fight between Pedro Munoz and, and Cheeto Vera, what do you think a win would do for momentum being on this pay-per-view for yourself? I think it puts my name in everybody's radar, and it gets me a lot of respect. Thank you. Good luck this weekend. Thank you.